Just tell me a little bit your name, education, and background. Name, Matt Bulo. Um, I'm a certified philosophist. I uh, went to Northwestern University, and this is my 20th year of clinical practice. Tell, just tell me a bit about your personal story, about um, you are a patient from a long time ago. Tell me a little bit about that background. Yeah, when I was 14, I had cancer and had my leg amputated below the knee. Um, so yeah, at that point, I was only a patient and got interested in the field, you know, want to be helpful to people, but also selfishly want to have hands on of making something for myself that's, that I think is the best. What was the entrepreneurial spark for the, uh, for the starting your own company? Yeah, um, I, I think just having the control to focus on just what I want to focus on. Um, it's real typical in our field to be kind of all things to all people and do prosthetics, orthotics, soft goods, and what we do is all we do is prosthetics. So we see nobody but amputees, which gives us the ability to really focus in and, you know, one-on-one's personal attention. How long have you been in business? Um, this is the fifth year. And just tell me about, you know, what you're most proud of. Um, I think that the personal relationships. I mean, I have two, two people come to mind. Is we've got a Bolivian amputee who's literally in combat today, probably, um, that we did his prosthesis. But then we also have, you know, the 70-year-old man with both legs amputated above the knee who does it on a wheelchair. And his independence to him is just as important as an athlete's pitching arm. To, to, and so the whole the range of, of, of digging in and helping someone reach their goal, whether it's this or this. Why did you decide to come to Columbia? Um, because of Bobby Latham. Uh, we're, I'm super picky in that, and, and I have the luxury of being an amputee myself that I only want to partner with someone that I would go to to get my prosthesis made by them. And Bobby has family in the area. It's a good uh, central location for South Carolina. And, uh, but namely because of Bobby. Tell me a little bit more about Bobby. Who, who is Bobby Lava? Um, certified prosthetist. And um, actually, he got in touch with us. We were sponsoring a Wounded Warrior Project soldier ride. And we do a lot with the, the military guys. Um, and he contacted us and was really intrigued by the prosthetics only specialty model and here we are. And what's your role going to be here at the, in the Columbia location? I'm going to manage this facility. I'm also seeing the patients directly. I'll be casting them. Uh, I'll actually modify the molds myself, pull the test sockets, fit those right to the patients. And I'm also going to uh, manufacture the artificial legs. So I'm going to be the one actually custom making each artificial leg and then delivering it back to the patient and following up with the patients. The, um, what about the research and development in this kind of a, the recent trends and, you know, what, what advances have been made with prosthetics? There's been a lot of advances in microprocessors for artificial knees. Uh, here recently, there's been a lot more advances for articulated ankles, not just ones that are made out of carbon fiber that, that, um, work with the patient's weight as they step down into it, the ones that actually sense where the patient is in space, and then adjusting the angle of that ankle to, to walk appropriately for that, for where they are, whether they're walking up a hill or down a hill. Um, I guess I'm most proud each time that we're able to, to custom make an item for a patient that helps them regain some of the things they want to do in life, whether it's standing and holding their grandkid, or uh, walking better and performing better at their job without having as much pain in their socket, or if it's cycling very well, because each item that we make is custom made for each person according to what they want to do.